Hello and welcome to Student Chambers. So this is our second part in the video tutorial when we are looking at the 18th edition navigation. So part one which looks at scope, object and fundamental principles. So if you can take your regs books out and go to page 14 please. Part 1 could be called the designer's guide, as it tells us about the scope, object and fundamental principles we need to apply when designing an installation. Now this is a crucial part for all electrical, electricians, designers, even electricians mates, because as you progress within the electrical industry, having a good solid understanding of the scope, object and fundamental principles when designing installations helps you make sure that you effectively design electrical installations. We will also look at what installations are in scope for compliance and what is excluded from the scope. Now, as you remember, if you look back on your notes, on part one, how many questions there will be in your exam, and it's an exam favourite to test your knowledge to see if learners understand what installations are in scope for compliance and what is excluded from the scope. And what is excluded from the scope is in regulation 110. So if you could turn to page 15, we will be looking at regulation 110.1.2. This regulation includes requirements for the following. So how you use this video tutorial is up to yourselves. You could pause it as we go along and ensure that you have a highlighter, a highlighter pen so then you can highlight the areas that you need to know and this will easily help you when you're preparing for your exam your exam or during the exam if any questions come up you know the key parts to look at now if we look at regulation 110.1.3 which is located on page 16. This regulation, being the 18th wiring regulations, are intended to be applied to electrical installations, and which will include the following, emergency lighting, fire detection and fire alarm systems for buildings, telecommunication systems, electrical installations for open cast mines and quarries, and explosive atmospheres. So again, if you'd like to pause this video to make a note. On page 16, regulation 110.2, exclusions from scope. So what the 18th, edition, 18th wiring edition does not include. Railway traction equipment, mobile units, Equipment of air car, aircraft, lightning protection system, and electric fences. So if you go to this regulation on page 16 of your regs, so you can highlight these sections here. And always remember that if you can get these questions, these are the easier questions that you can find and, un and locate. So if you can get the easier questions in your exam, you're one up. You you know, it, it may be that if you if you're finding it difficult in in parts three and four, these easier parts will help you pass your exam. Objects and effects page seventeen. 
So we're looking at regulation 120.1. This standard contains the rules for the design and erection and verification of electrical installations so as to provide for safety and proper functioning for the intended use. So the aim of this tutorial is to give you a short understanding of what is contained in part one and this is the this is the short introduction to all the different parts now if you are interested in in going to on the actual navigation course you can head back to student chambers website and all the details are on there so the next video will be looking at part two so just from bear in mind this videos are aimed at for individuals which have a good understanding of the regs and where you just want to brush up on your skills and refresh yourself where to navigate through the books. This video tutorial is not aimed at teaching you about the different sections in the regs, it's more aimed at helping you navigate through. Thank you very much.